Hey everybody, thanks so much for coming back to Natural Page for another Wifey Wednesdays. In honor of our third anniversary, we just wanted to share our wedding video. Um, it's a special anniversary just because it's our first with our son. It's definitely different, right babe? Yes. <laughs> but it's a good different and we're so grateful to the Lord for all that he's done for us and for our blessing <laughs> in the form of Maik. But we just want to say thanks guys so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe, hit that like button, and thanks for sharing life with us. All of the stars above They could fall out of the sky And dark clouds could come Block the sun from now till the end of time See, I don't need anything As long as this is true That you love me and I
true love along the broken road. But I got lost a time or two, wiped my brow and kept pushing through. I couldn't see how every sign pointed straight to you. But every long lost dream led me to where you are. Others who broke my heart, they were like northern stars, pointing me on my way into your loving arms. This much I know is true. That God blessed the broken road that led me straight to you. So this afternoon, we welcome everyone present. We are grateful to God for this specific and particular occasion. And we are seeking God's grace and God's mercies on everything we do. And we do pray that everything will be done to the honor and glory of God in Jesus Christ. Ephesians 4, 1 to 4. New translation. Therefore, I, a prisoner for serving the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of your calling, for you have been called by God. Ephesians 5, 22 to 33, and I'll be reading from the New Living Translation. For wives, this means submit to your husbands as to the Lord. For a husband is the head of his wife as Christ is the head of the church. He is the savior of his body, the church. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together in the presence of Almighty God to witness the marriage of this man and this woman. Marriage is a holy estate instituted by God and commended in scripture as honorable to all who enter it lawfully and in true affection. Into which holy estate these two persons now come to be joined. Therefore, if anyone can show any just cause why they may not be lawfully joined together in marriage, let them now declare it, or else henceforth forever hold their peace. I require and charge you both, as in the sight of God, that if either of you know of any impediment why you may not be lawfully joined together in marriage, that you do now confess it. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare that I know not. That I know not. Why I, Marcus Golding. Why I, Marcus Golding. Why I, Paige Smith. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Paige Smith. To Paige Smith. To Marcus Golding. To Marcus Golding. Marcus Golding. Will you have this woman? to be your lawful wedded wife? Will you have her, hold her, and keep her, and forsaking all other, will you remain with her in Jesus' name? I will. Paige, will you have this man to be your husband and in Jesus' name, walking together, have him as your husband? I will. Who gives this woman to be married? We do. 
I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness. That I, Marcus Golding. That I, Paige Smith. Do take you, Paige Smith. Do take you, Marcus Golding. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To have and to hold. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. According to God's holy ordinance. I give you my pledge. Your love came to me at a time when I least expected. At a time I probably thought I didn't deserve it. A love so supportive, passionate yet selfless. It has challenged me to be a better man and a better lover. Your love allowed God's love to shine through it. You are my gift my precious gift from God. A gift undeserving, but a gift I'm grateful for and will cherish. And it starts with these vows. So it is you I will have and hold in all things, through all things, for all time. It is you I will have and hold, not just when all eyes are on us, but when it is just the two of us. Not just in times of plenty, but also in times of little to nothing. It is you I will have and hold, not just in the best of times, but also in the worst. I will walk with you in times of good health, nurse and carry you in times when good health is elusive. You are my soulmate. You are my life partner. Only death will separate us. Where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God, my God. Today should be the culmination and end of moments of loneliness, disagreement, tears, and struggle in our relationship, and the beginning of continuous joy and happiness and prosperity. But I know it is not. Because though today is the beginning of a wonderful, joyous chapter, I am aware that love, true and perfect love, does not come without moments of loneliness, disagreement, tears, and struggle. Love in and of itself requires a painful, sacrificial daily dying to self, placing someone else's needs and desires before your own. We see this most in how Christ laid up his very life for us, a perfect demonstration of truest love. I stand today ready to lay down my entire self, body, mind, and soul, for all the days of my life. The difficult moments will surely come, those moments when one or both of us will want to leave, but I make this binding covenant with God and with you and I commit to being there with you through times of sickness and times of health, through periods of prosperity and periods of poverty. For better or for worse, I will be there, allowing only death to separate us. You are my partner, you are my teammate, you are my love, and I willingly submit to you and your leadership today, completely confident in being under your covering, because I know it is on the Holy Spirit you rely in how you love me. I am completely awestruck by the grace of God in how he has shown you how to love and cherish me so completely. Even in the moments when I have hurt you and have not deserved it, you are the physical manifestation of God's love for me and I'm forever grateful for you. Three years ago, I had given up hope and couldn't imagine there being a way for things to work out that we would be together. But God, he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask or imagine according to the power at work within us. I choose you for life, and that means I choose to draw you closer to God with every step and decision I make. I don't want this marriage to be what you or I think it should be, but everything that God has designed and ordained it to be. I know we won't have a perfect marriage, but my prayer is that it will be a blessed marriage, marked by the hand of God, 
and one that will always bring glory and honor to his name. Today, Marcus is of Golden. I vow myself to you and only you, body, mind, and soul. I promise you my unconditional love, support, and fidelity. You are everything I prayed for and everything God knew I needed. Today and henceforth, I am yours. Bless these rings, O oh God. God of signs and God of symbols. Grant that these rings may represent the reality of the partnership. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token. As a token. Of the covenant. Of the covenant. Made between us this day. Made between us this day. And as a pledge. And as a pledge. Of our mutual love. Of our mutual love. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Say to him, page. Say to him. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token. As a token. Of the covenant. Of the covenant. Made between us this day. Made between us this day. And as a pledge. And as a pledge. Of our mutual love. Of our mutual love. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. For as much as Marcus Golding and Paige Smith have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this country and have given their pledges either to the other and have declared the same by giving and receiving of rings and by joining of hands as a marriage officer in the island of Jamaica and a minister of the Christian gospel, I now pronounce them husband and wife in the name of Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That which God has joined together, let no man put asunder. You may be seated. Marcus and Paige, Paige and Marcus, you have said it all in your vows and everything. I shall not add anything to it. Simply to say to you, may God grant you grace, real grace, to display, to reflect, to affirm, and to honor each other's dignity. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Marcus and Paige, you have chosen to braid three strands together into a single cord. Each strand has a significant meaning. The middle strand represents God and His Majesty. The strand on the right represents you, Marcus, and the strand on the left represents you, Paige. In braiding these three strands together, you are demonstrating that your marriage is more than a joining of two lives. It is a joining of two lives with Christ at the center of your marriage, woven into every aspect of it. So go forth together as one cord, beautifully bound with Christ.
Ready for the first dance? DJ Power? Anytime now. Ladies and gentlemen, we're experiencing some technical difficulties. You already know how it is. I'm not any better. My gifting is speaking, not singing. I th uh, 
I'm sorry about this. We, you know, technology is, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Well, I think we might have to just go to a plan B. You guys are awesome. Come on, that's it, that's it, that's it. Hey! That was a pretty good surprise, wouldn't you say? Yes. The glitch was planned. <laughs> we can't say if we have any more planned or not. Let's just enjoy the time. We have a very creative groom and a very creative bride. Mrs. Golden and Mr. Golden. I mean, by no means. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're talking about the parents. Steve, Steve Golden and Marlene Golden. Yeah, they have been, they have been my neighbors for, I don't want to give away my age, but they've been my neighbors forever. Yeah, which means Marcus has been my neighbor forever because, take it like him, Marcus, you're moving out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody's like a family when you come around to Trimian Muse, right? Um, it is nothing shy of a village expressing pure love and discipline that is certainly, as you can see, inculcated in Marcus this evening as how he cares for Paige. You know, Auntie Marlene is a very special lady. Auntie Marlene is the mother of all. I know all of you can attest to that. Auntie Marlene is very serious about her work. She's very serious about play. She's very serious about serving the Lord. Yes. And as her immediate neighbor, I get it firsthand. <laughs> <laughs> so I must tell you, I am indeed grateful. Can't hide when you drive up. The vehicle is not very quiet. The door is going to pop and she is going to give you a charge. <laughs> Quite so. Mr. Golden, on the other hand, is the gentle, you know, the gentle giant. Make him leave, make the guy enjoy himself, no man. Maybe another time, no bother him now. Love Mr. Golden. You know what I mean? And in every relationship, you have to have that balance, yeah? It is a very important balance. And, you know, for just who they are, it's a lot of love in that household. It's a, love, it's a lot of love that has been poured into Marcos. And it's a lot of love that you're all sharing in today. This moment is not by no means each of you. I know I've been specially, specially picked to share this moment with these goldens. There's a lot more I'd like to say, but I will at this time 
ask us all to raise our glasses for Mr. and Mrs. Steve McCool. <coughs> I think I will help set the, to um, the tempo for this. My speech shouldn't be more than three minutes. So you're advised to stand up, speak up, and then shut up. To my mom. Um, once upon a time, so many years ago, a little boy from Westmoreland tied a knot with a one Heather James. To a, she being a little Kingstonian. Today, the product of this union, one P. Smith, the third of three children, has just done the same. Without a doubt, it is because of God's grace and a little, of course, like a hanky panky, we are all here today. <laughs> just a little bit. As parents, mom, you and dad have really led us by example how to love one another how to provide for one another and most importantly how to grow together under the leadership of god the father it is just as the vows read today by marcus and page signified the vows you read to dad some 30 enough years ago you stuck to such a commitment with diligence perseverance and humility Today is another way you have showed a level of outpouring in your own family's life. For which, if Paige never grateful and get one like a knock upside of her head. But really and truly, she is very grateful in her own little way. <laughs> it is a true testament of how much you love not just myself or Jodi K, but you love all three of us. And now you will have Marcus and Richie to add to that. Even though dad isn't here today, Patrick, a.k.a. husband, father, a.k.a. dad, your family salutes the two of you on the impact through collaboration with Heather that you have made in the lives of those closest to you. And today, Perrin, Jodi K, Richie, Josiah, Paige, and now Marcus, Salute you for your dedication, your sound direction, and loving care in the developing of who we have been to arrive at such a day as this. We love you and we appreciate you, Mom. As a very symbolic act um, in honor of Patrick Smith, Marcus Page, Marcus and Page invites you, Heather, yes, me mother, Richie, JK, Josiah, and myself in the lighting of a few lanterns at this time. I see them bloom for me and you and I think to myself what a wonderful world I see skies of blue and clouds of white the bright blessed day, the dark sacred night, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. We have, gathered, we have all gathered here today to witness and celebrate the union of Marcus and Paige, and I must say it has been a wonderful occasion. At this point in time, I'm charged with the honor of toasting the groom. Marcus Golden. Through his time, I witnessed Marcus grow from strength to strength in almost every area of his life. And as such, there are certain things I can attest to. Marcus Golden is a family man. He loves and visibly shows care for his siblings and parents. In that same breath, I touch on his loyalty. Marcus is dedicated. He is protective and will stand by those close to him. If you are his friend, and aren't around and someone starts to slander your name, you don't really have to wonder what's going to happen. Marcus will step in, figuratively and literally if necessary. He's the kind of man who will put himself at risk to defend your name. Patience and discipline, along with other aspects of the fruit of the Spirit, are things he exercises and exemplifies abundantly every day. Marcus is a patient man. Very patient man. <laughs> Marcus is a godly man. 
Marcus is a man who is firmly rooted, and I thank God for this. For as he grows in his faith, his qualities flourish. Marcus has many friends, and Marcus listens. But what many people forget is that a big part of being a friend is to be able to allow people to listen to you. It is to allow those who care about you to support you. And I think through Paige, this has become a reality for Marcus Goldie. I stand here, however, to boldly declare to you that this man, Marcus Golden, is a strong man of God who is blessed in many ways, one of which is that he's human. And that simply means he needs love, care, and affection. He desired companionship, just like the first man, and God provided. So I'd like us all to stand at this moment. Let's stand to our feet and raise our glasses as we toast my friend, the groom, Mr. Marcus Golden. So, Jody K saw Paige one day at the tender age of 17. Jody K looked at Paige. She probably looked right through her and she said, Paige, how it look like you're, you're, you're in love with Marcus, so? And Paige said emphatically, no. Where are we today? So I won't give that story because I don't want to embarrass my sister. So I've committed to keeping it short and sweet. Yes, I know she loves me for that. So that beautiful bride that you see there is my sister Paige, the one and only. For my son Josiah, she is hashtag one blood auntie. Okay? Technically, she's my baby sister, and she's four years younger than me. But she kind of bossy, from she little bit, that at times it can be really hard to tell. I mean, to this day, I am defending that I am the older one. Growing up, Paige was always this strong-willed, say what comes to mind and bad up who she has to. Give it her all, little girl. So I, I'm keeping this as a toast because I don't want my head chopped off later. <laughs> so don't watch her height. I mean, you see that she's a, probably a full foot shorter than Marcos. And she's wearing very high heels today. Trust me. Her foot are killer too, you know. But she's not going to take them off because she wants to picture them look nice. <laughs> so let me tell you a little bit about Paige and her tell it like it is. I'm not roasting, I promise you. It's case in point. Last year in November, my husband and I tell Paige that we're expecting. Paige screamed with excitement. Ah, I'm going to be an auntie. Okay, and then she said, hold up. I don't want no pregnant belly in my wedding, you know. You, my girl, so I, I go, my girl, you engaged? Response, no. I said, well then, until then, you're lucky. But then when she does get engaged now, and Mark, you know, I'm so, I was privileged that Marcus actually included me in that. And I got up the, the lovely opportunity to help him surprise my sister. And I really, we really threw her off. <laughs> but then when she gets engaged now, because I'm now obviously pregnant, Paige says to me, listen, try to lose that belly by the time my wedding comes, you know. I'm giving you four months. Classic, it wasn't like that. All right, so it was more like, Try your best to lose that belly, you know, because I don't want no big belly in my wedding picture them. So, see, the bridesmaids can attest. Okay. So, but what I love about Paige is that when she gives it her all, she's giving it her all. And she's going to be straight up. So when it came to being in relationships and in love, she was no different. Paige is going to give it her all. And one thing about my sister that she loves hard. So Marcus, mm -hmm. you're ready for this? Because, hey, all right. You're ready? You know, okay. So whilst you all love hard, I would like to share a few words. As a wise young woman who stood here at my wedding, shared with me a few years ago. And... I've actually held them very close to me, and so I encourage you to do the same. Paige, choose to love each day. 
allowing yourself not of your own will, but through God's grace to love unconditionally. At times it may be hard, but it is possible with the Lord. Let today, your wedding day, be the day you love Marcus the least. Ensure the Lord is the center of your union as you displayed earlier today with the three-stranded cord. And as beautiful as today has been, and as amazing as it is to see the vision that you have come to life, the beauty is not in today, your wedding day, but in your marriage that lasts. So on this your wedding day, my dear sister, as your name says, I encourage you to serve. Serve the Lord by serving your husband, Marcus, in this your newest ministry called the marriage. I want to tell you how proud I am of you and how I have seen you grow in your courtship with Marcus. I know it wasn't easy, but you did it with the grace of God. You waited, submitted yourself to the Lord and look at what he has done. Remember that time though, because God was using it to prepare you for what is to come. Marcus, thank you for committing to doing things differently with Paige and for committing to her today for the rest of your life. Daddy isn't here to say this to you, so I will. Take good care of her. Wash her in the word and lead her closer to the Lord day by day. And I know he would have wanted you to, to do that. I end here because I can't go no more. <laughs> so family and friends, please join me in raising your glasses to my beautiful sister, a rare treasure, a precious jewel, the one and only Paige. Give her a hug. Give her a hug.
very thankful. There are so many other people we could single out. If we single out everybody, then nobody not going to go home. So please understand, it's not that we forget, you know, but we are really grateful and we thank you for the ways in which you've contributed, how you showed us love and how you showed us your support. And we hope that you will enjoy the rest of the evening. But before we go, I'd just like to say a prayer. Father, we give you thanks. We give you thanks for this day. We give you thanks for you made it. We give you thanks because you allowed us to see this day. There are persons elsewhere who are mourning because their loved ones didn't get the chance to experience this day. But we are all here, sound mind and good health, and we give you thanks. We thank you for love, Father, and we thank you for its celebration today. And we pray and hope, Lord, that you are pleased with all that took place today. All of this is a celebration of love, but not just between Paige and I, but the love that you so generously and richly bestow upon us and allow us to walk in every day. We give you thanks for every person seated here, every household and family represented. And we ask, Lord, a special covering and blessing over each and every one. We ask, Lord, that you will keep them in good health, keep them in sound mind, and cause the rest of this evening not to just be fun, but to give you honor and glory and be pleasing in your sight. For Christ's sake, we pray. Amen. But before we sit... I just want to load up and single out the most beautiful lady under the tent. Pay Smith. Hold on. Stop the camera. Stop the camera. It's okay. I had to roll this off my tongue for so many years, you know. Mrs. Paige Heather Dawn. Golding. Thank you so much for taking that Pandora bracelet from me on January 18, 2016. I asked you to start this journey with me. I asked you to take my heart. I asked you to guard it and keep it safe. It was not an easy journey. I never had any doubt that my heart was safe. I thank you for being the woman that you are. I thank you for the love that you've shown me. A love that has challenged me to be a better person when it comes to loving. Thank you so much for saying yes to courtship, for saying yes to my engagement, for saying yes to being my wife. I love you look forward to the rest of our lives together. <laughs> On behalf of my wife and I, have a good evening. Wow. Beautiful. So on the count of three, one, three. Hold on, what's going on here? Oh, they're trying to minimize the crumbs. Whoa. 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 Tastes good. good. Marco tastes says good. it tastes good. The kiss or the cake? So, I think. <laughs> Marcus. Don't rush it, Marcus. Don't rush it. All right, no. Oh, all right, no. Still good. All right. No. Uh, no, 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 no. We would like to see you properly.
look ready. You don't look hungry for this thing. Come on, ladies. Marcus, you've been waiting for this a long time. No hands, Marcus. No hands. <laughs> don't rush, Marcus. Don't rush. Yeah, man. All single men, we're learning. We're taking note, Marcus. Teach us, Marcus. Teach us. Hey. Hold on there. Lord. Lord. Just the card, ah. Marcus. Hold on there. Just the garter. I feel like I should give them some privacy. What's going on here? Oh, ho, ho. No hands, Marcus. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Give him a round of applause, everyone. Marcus, remember your bridging them down the back in the morning. Ball it up, ball it up. So tight, now I understand. Yeah, take that. Ransay, really want it, man. Ransay, yours.
falling star You're the getaway car You're the light in the sand When I go too far You're the swimming pool On an August day And you're the perfect thing to say And you play a coat But it's kind of cute Oh, when you smile at me You know exactly what you do Baby, don't pretend But you don't know it's true Cause you can see it when I look at you And in this crazy life And through these crazy times It's you, it's you You make me sing your every line Your every word, your everything 